to Jim. Is this Jim on line three? Yes, sir. Hey, Jim, what's up, buddy? You know, I was just listening to you, and you were talking about uh, the nightmares and the, and the horseshoe. And right. Did, did you draw the same uh, parallel there, uh, the, the mare as in a horse? Hmm, interesting. I, I, didn't I wonder that. if that's where it came from. I never thought about it until you said that. Well, it says a horseshoe hung on the bedroom will keep uh, nightmares away. That, that, I mean, you do make a connection there. Uh, I, I don't know. It doesn't. That's all it said on the. Uh, it was a superstitious superstition. Have, have Have you heard of that before? Or you just. Uh, no, heard... no. That's what I'm saying. Hearing you say those things together made right. me think of it. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of weird ones on here um, that I, I've never heard of. Uh, if you catch a falling leaf on the first day of autumn, you will not catch a cold all winter. Man, I got to get out there. And, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, we got to wait till autumn. Um, dropping an umbrella on the floor means that there will be a murder in the house. You know, I, I actually had someone tell me one time that putting a hat on a table was bad luck. Have I've, you ever heard that? I have heard that. I I I, I don't know what uh, I know. There's I think a certain uh, ethnic background that really believes in that one. But I, yeah, I have heard of that one. Uh, are you are, are you willing to take our truth or dare Thursday question? Yeah, go for it. Uh, I, I would have to say, man, you know, obviously, like any any probably person, not just a man, you know, you you have temptations in life. But the fact of the matter is, I can't imagine my wife doing the opposite. So I, I can't say that I want to do it. Ah, so it's not the fact that you would feel bad going out and che- cheating. It, you would not. You would not want your wife to do that. Well, I mean, I, well, I would feel bad because she would feel bad. You know what I mean? I see. When it comes down to it, you know, if it was just, you know, uh, you know, all things scratched and it was just a blank slate, you know, right. obviously there's all kinds of women that are more than bettable. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, but, you know, we were talking earlier, um, a guy called in about once he got, he couldn't get any action before he got married. Then he got married and, uh, all of a sudden, women were uh, throwing themselves at him. And I've had friends I, of mine. I, I even noticed that as, when I was just dating. You know, girls always always like guys with, with girlfriends. You know, you're right. Um, because I, you think it's, and this it, it sounds catty, but, you know, come on, let's be honest. Women just hate to see another woman have something they don't have. What do you think? Either that or, or, or we've been approved. Uh, yeah, like, uh, well, they say the best uh, advice is, you know, word of mouth, right? And I guess that goes with uh, women, too, right? If you got one saying how good you are or whatever. Right. The other ones are going to want it. Exactly. Hmm. Are you married or no? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, well, I, so I guess, uh, do you find that when you were uh, got married and had the ring on that, that you got hit on more or no? Um, not, not necessarily. But I, I think just in general, you know, like, you know, it, when, when you are happy, that's what I tried to tell my single friend. Is try to be happy with themselves because when you're happy, that comes across more than anything. And yeah. I think that's what women see in men who have someone is is that they're happy people. That makes sense. Yeah, you know, ha- happiness. So if you're so not happy in your marriage, you probably <laughs> it isn't going to be that way for you. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for the call, buddy. I appreciate it. My pleasure. And good luck with those nightmares. <laughs> um. Yeah, I didn't even uh, put that yet. Nightmare and a mare thing. That, that could be true. Tomorrow, Friday the 13th, uh, are you superstitious? Are you going to do anything different tomorrow? Uh, everybody seems to be uh, pretty cool with it. But it is amazing how many weird things that they have out in society because they think people, more than 80% of high-rises lack a 13th floor. Airports skip the 13th gate. Airplanes have no 13th aisle. Hospitals and hotels have no room number 13. The Italian people omit the number 13 from the, their national lottery. Um, yeah, kind of weird. I guess uh, uh, people attribute like the Apollo 13 as bad luck. Um, a lot of weird ones. Uh, I'll continue with the list. Uh, all windows should be opened at the moment of death so that the soul can leave. You know, if, if it's a ghost and a soul, you think you could probably get through a window <laughs> if there's that if it's that mystical, but. Um, I wonder if they uh, do that in uh, hospitals. Probably not. It would be my guess because the windows would be open. It'd be freezing in there. If uh, that's an interesting one. If the groom drops the wedding band during the ceremony, the marriage is doomed. 
to dream of a lizard is a sign that you have a secret enemy. You know, I, I've had that before, uh, lizard dreams, but it was always like the lizard was talking and all that. It was just, just wasn't just a regular lizard. Uh, Monday, I'm going to have a guest here, uh, Mike Balatevich, an uh, old friend of mine from East Chicago. He is a master Tai Chi instructor. And uh, I know he's just doing some work now with uh, people with Parkinson's, I believe. So uh, Monday, we'll have a guest, and make sure you tune in 4 to 6 tonight after me. Hey, Harlow should be in the house from 6 to, uh, I think, 7.30 tonight because there's Whiting uh, versus Hanover Central in baseball, which will be on. And we're going to go to Dan on line one. Hey, Dan, how are you? Hey, Nick, how are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm good, buddy. How are you? Doing good. Hey, uh, is it a bad omen if a bird hits a window in the house? You know, um, it says a bird in the house is a sign of death. That's okay, a, but what if it hits the, the window outside? I, you know, I think that is, I've heard of that one before, too, that that's bad luck. Yeah, I was just wondering about that. Yeah, why, has it has happened to you recently? No, no, it happened to me, to uh, the woman that was an uh, alcoholic back in the day, and uh, and these poor birds kept on hitting the, the outside the house and being died hmm. in about but, six Six, seven months after that, she passed away from alcoholism. Oh, I thought you were going to say by getting hit by a bird. No, 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 it ain't that movie. <laughs> Birds, that was scary. <laughs> you know, we had, when I lived in California, we had, uh, it happened two years in a row where, like, just a certain time in spring, uh, we woke up and there were thousands of flies inside the house. Ooh. Yeah, and that was really, I mean, it was so much, here's how I got rid of them, it was so weird. I took the vacuum cleaner, you know, with a suction hose, and right. literally just, I, had, I was, get, there were so many of them, I got them right out of the air. Oh my and it happened, yeah, and both of us thought like that was, and I looked around, I, I couldn't find, they were near the air conditioner, there was a window unit, and I thought, well, maybe there's water in there, and they hatch their eggs or something. But yeah, it, when you wake up and, you're, and you're, your windows, I mean, covered in flies, you know, you immediately think, uh, you know, something with the devil or something. Something, yeah. Yeah, pretty scary. It's scary. Are you superstitious or no? Nah, yeah, yeah. It was like, I remember the old nurse rhyme uh, when I was a kid. Uh, you step on a crack, you break your mother's back. Right. And uh, I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think people are getting less and less. Hey, uh, thanks for the call, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, Nick. Good deal. 